Hi, I'm Rob Hayes. Today we're going to talk about the transformation to the digital services economy and Intel's workload optimized silicon. To me, the digital services economy is really simple. As every business and service goes online, you need an infrastructure and a data center behind it to be able to service your customers. And it's a variety of different workloads across a number of different industries. For example, you've got analytics where you've got a massive supply chain and you're trying to manage not only your own manufacturing environment and supply, but also supply of vendors. You've got high performance computing where you might be a digital design firm trying to build cars or airplanes out of simulation. You've also got consumer services where you've got emails or photographs or things like that that you're storing for millions of people. So when IT is looking at what is the infrastructure they need to build, they need to think about the workload that they're trying to host. So they have to think about what are the requirements for each of the workloads around throughput, performance, latency, memory capacity, resiliency, scalability, et cetera. And then they have to pick the right infrastructure for each of those parts of the workload. Intel Workload Optimized Silicon gives IT managers a broad range of choices to allow you to really optimize the solution for the workload that you're delivering. Intel offers over 100 SKUs of processors, starting with our industry-leading Intel Xeon processors, Xeon Phi for high-performance computing, and Atom for small form factors. So another way of thinking about the workload optimized silicon is thinking about an analogy with the airline industry. So if you're an airline and you want to deploy a common aircraft for domestic routes, a lot of companies will standardize on the Boeing 737. It's got great range, it's got great capacity, and it's got good fuel efficiency. But a 737 might be overkill for short distances like Sacramento to Reading. So in that case, you'd probably deploy a regional jet that's really optimized for shorter distances. On the other hand, if you're going to go an international route like San Francisco to Tokyo, you're going to need a long-range jet, such as a 747. So when we think about the workload, we think about what is the right system-level solution in order to deliver the best service possible, including CPU, I.O., memory, network, fabric, SSDs, etc., to allow you to build the best configuration you possibly can. The Xeon E5 processor family is our most popular product. It delivers a great balance of performance per watt and dollar. It's a great foundation for a number of different services in the digital services economy. Cloud service providers, high performance computing, digital design, enterprise users all build a lot of their applications on top of Xeon E5. So Xeon E7 is our most premium product family for enterprise computing. The Xeon E7 processor is scalable up to eight sockets and beyond. It offers terabytes worth of memory for very large data sets, and it's been tuned with partners like SAP to run HANA and other applications really well. The ideal workload for an E7 would be things like real-time analytics on massive data sets and online transaction processing where you need to make decisions rapidly. We also offer things like Xeon Phi, which are really optimized for massively parallel high-performance computing that allows you to deliver great results for things like digital design and scientific discovery. So we're now offering our second generation of Atom processor family that's really optimized around density and cost-effective storage. We've integrated the chipset, the CPU cores, the I.O., the network controller, et cetera, into one chip so that it fits in a very small space. Let's say you're an online service provider who's trying to store massive amounts of photographs. What you really care about is that you can deliver as many disks as you can in the smallest footprint and power possible at a low cost. So beyond trying to offer a broad portfolio of products that cover a range of workloads, Intel's engaging with our key customers, OEMs, and service providers to allow them to have customized solutions built on top of the foundation of Intel architecture. So we can offer a number of different ways to customize the product for your unique environment, things like varying the package size, the core count, the thermals, the IOs, et cetera, that are really tuned in for what are you trying to accomplish with your workload. We also offer the opportunity to bring your IP or your logic into an FPGA that sits next to the processors while still being able to take advantage of the standard high volume economics of off the shelf CPUs and other silicon. So back to the airplane analogy. Maybe you're an airline that wants to offer premium service to your customers. And so I could as an airline provider put in a custom first class cabin for you on top of the standard airplane. So the work that we're doing here around workload optimized silicon is trying to give IT a broad range of choices to build the best services that they possibly can on top of a foundation of Intel architecture that's scalable, cost effective, and performant. By providing workload optimized silicon, Intel's enabling you to deliver your unique services at the lowest cost possible. If you'd like to learn more about Intel's vision for the digital services economy transformation and workload optimized silicon, visit intel.com slash ITCenter.